understand that the fact of the matter is I'm not going to be on James Charles' side because of that reason. I'm not going to cancel Ethan Andrew Rett because some people are claiming that he, Ethan Andrew, is making up a fake story to to ruin James to ruin James Charles's career. If he if he was, then James Charles should have come up with a response by now. But unfortunately, according to videos I watched, there had to be some sort of court date. That has to be going on right now. And until James Charles is actually ready to speak, to actually change my mind, to admit that he didn't do it, then maybe I'll be on James Charles' side. But. I cannot do that right now because I don't want to cancel someone else if I have to, if I don't give them a chance to speak. And that's why I'm making this video about Ethan Andrew. I'm giving him a chance before I give James Charles a chance. If I want to give James Charles Chance, then James has to pick up the pace. He, he got very defensive and mad about it, actually. And he said, well, I, if I fly you out here, I want you to stay with me, all this and all that. And I honestly, I didn't know what to do. And um, I just felt very uncomfortable. And so keep in mind, he's 14 years old. You want to fly a 14 year old? boy out to your house that's weird that is mad weird and so i um and so i continue watching his podcast and i'm just like yo like i think this is like towards me like it's honestly like everything that he talks about in his podcast like i told him like it was always excuses like always something and it was always that because i always felt uncomfortable and he um he exaggerated a lot he said we were talking i never agreed to that i never said i was bisexual to him i never any of that none, none of that and um he was trying to, I guess he was trying to get me to think I was, but I really wasn't. And so I text him, I'm like, yo, like, I think there's shade being thrown. Like, what are you talking about me? And he was like, oh, no, I wasn't talking about you. I was talking to about some Romanian boy, talking about some Romanian boy. And I was like, name was Nick. And which I think is Nick Austin. But. Yeah, but it's all good because he said, he then said it was a guy named Nick from LA, which is kind of like, mm, who would that be? You know, honestly, but I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about other kids out there happening that this happened to them i feel like i honestly a part of me will never be the same um i'm honestly still uncomfortable to the situation to this day there's so much more that i can honestly say yeah and he also told me that if i make any video about him or do anything he will come after me and destroy me and make my life a living hell and so he tried playing my games with me to, saying i told him i was 18 which i never did and all this and all that last night and he tried to say he never sent me he, yeah he tried to say that he doesn't send news he's never sent me news which y'all saw from the beginning of the video all the proof is right there all the receipts are right there i'm making this video because i want you to stop threatening me and putting threats on me and saying you're gonna come now if james charles again didn't send any nudes Well, by the time his court day is over, he really should come clean. Again, he really should come clean. And uh, defend himself by saying that he didn't send nudes to Ethan Andrew. 